Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Mandy and I um, have this sort of planning lifestyle channel here and I'm so glad you're here today. I also have an Etsy shop and something new is in the Etsy shop now and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So I figured I would kind of show you how I use it um, and let you guys check it out from there because I don't have every single page that's available in my Etsy shop, but the main, you know, the main sources are here. And I figured I would show you guys how I use it with my planner. It is a weekly overview and like a zone cleaning system. I use mainly the Fly Lady cleaning system for most of my um, uh, routines and um, like ideas for cleaning and like the kind of the way she goes about that but I also put in so many other things that are just better like for my family and that's what I'm, I assume everybody does and now it doesn't follow something all all the time to the exact T so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I created for my home system and just kind of let you guys see how I use it so that way you can see if it's something that would work for you guys and if it is something that would work for you guys it's in my etsy shop for four dollars and it's 10 pages so um first of all i'm going to show you my july um spread for it and how i kind of put that into my week but then we will go into um planning the next week I'm trying to think that that's going to be the first week of August. We are going to go into um, how I set that up for the month. So um, this is what it looks like used for me. I actually have not you um, written on this page, but I totally could have. I just chose to leave it the way it is. And I really like having it open um, like this. So I have each zone and week together. And I used a lot of the Fly Ladies um, system, but I uh, customized it to, for myself. I do not have it to where you guys can type in your own stuff yet. I know, I know it would be so much better if I could get that done. It's just the, um, the researching of how I want to do that. And I'm kind of a perfectionist, which I'm working on, but um, it's definitely something I, I need to do. But this whole, what I have written here, or typed here is on the Etsy shop. I didn't think it would be um, great if there were blanks. I just, so I did this um, in color and then there's one with um, white and gray. So if you like a more neutral palette there. Um, but what I did was I took the time because I just, I just kept getting a little frustrated with trying to, um, it felt like if I didn't have it ready the next week, the planning reset for the next week just took too long. So I said, let me get it ready for the whole month and then use that as a guide. So that's the purpose of this system for you guys is to help guide you so you don't have to spend so much time figuring it out every week. You really don't have to think that much. Um, now, if you want to change some of these items up, of course you do that but um that's where i bring in the 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 um the weekly overview um this one is on there as well where it actually has what i chose to type in for myself but then all it has options for blanks um i should have just printed the whole thing but my printer's acting up on color right now and i wanted you guys to see what it would actually look like in color so um, there are different pages that where it doesn't say anything here. You also can get this one that has the items that I have. I included what I use. And then the other page that's included as well is a notes page. Um, so there's two versions of this. There's, I wanna say three versions of this. And what I don't have printed is the zone page. Um, the zone page is like this, but bigger. So there's, um, I want to say there's like four different zone pages because I made a few different backgrounds for you guys as options, as well as whether you wanted the labels or not. Um, and they don't actually have 
any of the information on the big pages. You would have to fill that in yourself. It might have, you know, the labels, but, um, but you would have this. So if you wanted to fill it in yourself with what I have, you would, you know, you would have that option. Um, but this, it, it's like a big version of one of these and it says zone blank week blank. So you can pick whatever zone you are in that, that week or whatever week. And then these are blank. There are options where these are blank. Um, and you write in your zone, or if you don't zone clean, you don't have to write in a zone. You can write something else. It doesn't even have to be a cleaning system. So that's what I love about it is that you can use one of these or a weekly overview and you don't have to have you know, all the labels. So there's options. So check it out. It's linked down below. It's in my Etsy shop and I'm excited. Um, again, it's kind of called a cleaning like fly lady system thing, but you do not have to use it for that. You guys know that I always want to make um, something that is flexible to your needs and what you guys um, could, if you could, that you guys could use it for so many different things. So what I did was I took this page, I took both of these pages and this is kind of like her system for like everything that you would want to take care of on a weekly basis. And then in addition to that, you have your zones and stuff. And if you wanted to say, just use one page for the month and not really like have this like in there all the time, you could take from your zone stuff and you can write it here. Like maybe you wanted to focus on just a few of these things and you can write it here on your week. So that's kind of why I really like this other spot as well. So I always now have the ability to check off my home blessing stuff. I like to have a laundry section, my daily themes, and then other. But um, you can print this every week or what I have chosen to do is I have chosen to use it for the whole month and just use it as a guide as well as put my check marks for how many times I got to that so far in the month, if that makes sense. So that is how I have been using it. Now, what I would do is I would take this and I will show you. Now my weeks have kind of changed. So, you know, you're gonna see some differences happening because I have been trying to work with this system that I made for my weekly. But as you can see, I have a section for home blessing, for zone and for laundry. This right here is like a daily two pager. I don't, I found that I don't necessarily need that so much, but I did have sections for it. Um, I already struggle to get to my cleaning. So don't be surprised if you don't end up seeing too much on the cleaning side, <laughs> but I know that I needed it. So that way I could actually um, use it for my week. So this was a weekly spread that I tried out. So as you can see, one week I tried a daily spread, one week I tried a, a weekly spread, and I put my laundry here, my home blessing, and my zone. Um, my back has been really hurting, so it doesn't surprise me either that I don't have too much going on with this, but I really loved that I could use this as my guide on my weekly, or if that's like too repetitive, I could just go back to this page. You guys just probably know I don't like too much flipping. So um, that's how that week went. Um, and then I ended up having some extra like dailies that, of, look at my printer issues. I was also printing. <laughs> um, I think this week was a little bit more put together. Yes, here we go. So this week was a little bit more put together. I put my zone item here, my home blessing items, my laundry. Um, again, like my back, it's not just like getting better, so I can only do what I can. And, um, but this was a lot more helpful for me to figure out a system that I really liked. And I did really like this one. Uh, let's see the next week. Do I, do we have another week that I used it for? Okay. Again, I'm still like teeter tottering around on my systems here. Do I want a daily? Do I want a weekly? That kind of thing. So I had printed, um, this this eight and a half by 11 to see if I liked having more space. And I think ultimately I liked this except um, 
didn't, you know, I didn't really like have much to write because our week was so crazy. Being on summer, I feel like every week is a is a di little bit different. But what I ended up doing was kind of adjusting because I'm also looking to see if you guys are interested in a weekly like this to sell it. So I try them out first. But I wanted to show you guys how I use this to plug it into my weekly. Um, so for example, I have my home blessing here. I have my laundry. And then I was gonna um, put like my zone items. Because I don't usually get to focus on my zone items that much, I chose not to put it on this one, but usually I would put that somewhere up here as well. So that is how I've been using this. Now let me show you guys my upcoming for August. So here, here we go. So I, what I did was I made sure to print them for every month whether I use them or not, I at least have them. What you could do also is print it. And um, I've never, I haven't tried putting a page protector in my planner yet. I'm actually going to do that soon, but just to try it out. But um, that's something that you could like laminate it and then put it in. So that way you only have one. Um, I may think about double siding these. I just like looking at them as an overview like this but I did print them for every month so that way there was nothing holding me back from planning um, monthly planning can get pretty busy for me and I don't want to sit here all day and plan for the month I want some things to be ready to go so that is what I did here and what we're gonna do is we are going to set up my August planner so I chose to have my weekly spread I have um, blank sections. I like to adjust those depending on my needs for the week, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this side of my weekly to plan out um, my, my items that I really want to be done in my home. Now, what I may also end up doing is I also sell this in the classic size, so seven by nine and a quarter, and I might just print that out because I also love having a notes page. I might just do that for the week if I find that I don't really want to write it on here, but because I don't like flipping around my planner too much, the way that it's set up right now, as you can see, is I have my classic size in here, and then I can just go to my time blocking pages um, or I can just print it on the other side. So there's so many different options. If you guys have bought anything else from me or anybody else, you can always like, you know, play with that and print them however works for you. So what I'm going to do is show you how I have been putting this in my planner. So that way it's ready to go for the weekly system. So I put my home blessing here and these are just some of the items that I want to get done in the home um, like on a regular basis like every week I want to um, vacuum and every week I want to mop the floors so if I run out of space sometimes I'll put like mop slash vacuum or I'll just put floors and I know what that means every week I choose to dust as part of my home blessing and um, I also use this as a guide I may not get them all done but what I like to do is as I plan them I will check them off and I know that does not mean if it's checked off on here I know it doesn't mean it's done it would mean it's done if it's checked off on here that's just my system so <laughs> um so the next thing that I would do is I don't really need to do my mirrors and doors. I did that recently. You know what? I might need to do the doors. We'll see. But um, I definitely weekly like to purge. Um, she, Fly Lady puts purge magazines. I have like my extras baskets. So purge um, or paper purge, right? <laughs> And that kind of means the baskets on my counters that clutter up. And then I really want to declutter. Um, and sometimes I'll even put what that means. But right now I'm not thinking clearly there. So I'm just going to write that there. Okay, so. And as you can see, I put my check marks kind of like in the corners. So that way the next week of August, I will check mark again. 
um, as I plan. But then I will also see that I had planned to do these and, you know, check this out to see if it's done or not. The other thing that I want to make sure that I do is I really like to um, make sure that I'm doing all the laundry. So um, a lot of times I'll say like, instead of using this for check marks, I like to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday or Sunday. Um, I don't do laundry every single day on the weekend. Um, so then I like to go between like the ch the children's and ours. And this is just a really nice guide because I already have it ready to go here. And then I really like to put in one or two of these. So we're going to definitely need to do towels because I did not get to do those at the end of last week. And we need to do our bedding because I did do the kids last week. So this really helps me stay on top of um, of that. Um, let's see, is there anything else? So sometimes I'll write in my daily theme and that might mean, um, fly lady, but sometimes I write in what I want to plan. So what I need to make sure, like my, I have like daily planning themes. If you guys have a lot to plan, sometimes that's helpful. Um, and then, you know, you can always use it for dinners or something too, but I like to meal plan on the win on Wednesdays. I like to um, clean my bags out and my car. So that's not really a planning thing, but. Um, and then on Mondays, I like to think more about YouTube stuff and just stay in that, you know, thinking. And then Tuesdays, I can think more about um, the next week for Etsy. So this is just nice because it kind of guides me in that. And then how I work that into my week is what I will end up doing is I will put some of those daily themes here. There, I don't, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, there's six of them which, um, you know, allowed me to like have space, but then I don't need to, it, I, like, I know I can do this on a date. The reason I did that, cause I can do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend, or I can do, for example, YouTube and I can put like the, what I'm, um, what I'm filming or whatever. And then the steps for that. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, sometimes so it just kind of it just helps me and um i like to make sure that i know what i'm doing for youtube and etsy that week so when i go to have say i have 30 minutes to do something for it i'm not thinking the first 15 minutes of what am i supposed to be doing right now um but i don't usually put like meal planning here or i have put um i have ended up putting um what am I, what am I thinking of? Um, like meal prepping. So what I need to make sure I meal prep, um, on a Monday, but if I don't get to it on a Monday, I see that I didn't like say cut up my vegetables or something. So that's how I incorporate this weekly overview from my most recent Etsy listing into my week. It is so helpful. Um, another thing that I like to do is the zone. So if it's the first week of August that we're planning right now, and by the way, I should probably, because I did that. I'm not gonna check these ones off until I know I did it. Um, so yeah, now I will do the zone. And I usually have it right before the tab. This is just happens to be my budget section that I still need to complete for July. So that's kind of why it's right there. What I need to do is move it. So it's right before the tab. <laughs> okay, that way it's super easy to get to. Um, that So for example, look, you can see September. I just go before September. Even though this is for September, I find it's easier to get to it by just using the tab as opposed to like having it somewhere after September or at the end. I just, I don't like that. I like it to be at the beginning. Um, but that's the nice thing about the, have the discount system. <laughs> All right, so back to my weekly, my first week of August here. 
and this is for zone. So I will put my zone and my zone. So she kind of like combines some zones. Um, sometimes I'll just pick one because this is just a lot for me, like a mom of a homeschooling mom, like always, you know, making meals and stuff for kids. I just don't really have the ability to focus on all of the zones. So I will go through and be like, okay, like we definitely need to do cobwebs. So I'm going to put that on here. Um, we, we should do light fixtures. They're getting pretty dusty. So these are like the bigger things that I might need my husband's help to take care of sometimes, but if it's something that I can get to, then great. Um, we're okay on base baseboards and chairs. Clean out and straighten drawers and cupboards. Um, yeah, I should probably clean the knickknacks. <laughs> and I think the fly lady actually does say that. It's really cute. Um, my son's been helping me with the windows. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to write that down. I just like that this makes it to where I don't feel overwhelmed with all of this. But then I actually have a guide here if I do have the ability to do that, I guess. So um, I would like to... Uh, hmm. I do need to straighten the coat closet. So even though this is dining room, entrance, front porch, all of that, I'm going this, that's like the front section of my home. So I'm just going to put front rooms and I all know what that means. Um, anything else? Oh, weed. We definitely need to weed the, the beds, the flower beds and I think that I'm gonna keep it like that. I like to leave an extra one sometimes because I always think of something else. And that is how I use this cleaning system for my weekly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you got some good ideas. And if you are interested, you will go visit my Etsy shop in the link below and check it out for yourself. It's $4, um, which I think is pretty good for a nice guide like that. I'm always looking for guides that other people use because if it works for them, it might work for me too. And if it doesn't all the way work for me, I know I can get something out of it. So let me know if you like this video by hitting the like button and letting me know in the comments below if you can. I would love that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.